Sun Masayoshi has the financial world's eyes on him and has been hot on investor news recently with his company, SoftBank, failing in an attempt to IPO one of their biggest investments, WeWork. But how did SoftBank become such a big corporation to still be standing even after its $6.5 billion loss? Son Jung Yi was born into a Korean immigrant family in Japan in 1957. Due to discrimination from the locals against his family roots, he took on a Japanese name as a child. As a teenager, Sun showed interest in business when he was so intrigued by a book written by the Japanese founder of McDonald's, then Fujita. By chasing after Fujita's assistants and visiting him in person, Sun got to have a personal meeting with him that steered his business goals. The one advice that Sun got from Fujita and remembered for the rest of his life was to not look at what was successful in the past, but what will be successful in the future. Son then moved to the U.S. and studied economics at UC Berkeley. During his undergraduate years, Son imported consoles of Pac-Man and leased them to local businesses through his father, who owned a pachinko parlor, a Japanese equivalent of a slot arcade. He later worked with a physics professor at Berkeley, Forrest Moser, to build a pocket translator, which he then sold to Sharp for a hefty $423,000, which would be about a million dollars in today's value. After finishing his studies in UC Berkeley in 1980, Son returned to Japan to found Bank of Software, or as it is known today, SoftBank. The company started out with only two part-time workers in a small office, but Son believed that the personal PC was the future he needed to invest in. So SoftBank started supplying all types of software to various PC stores. Ten years later, SoftBank would grow its business to over 500 employees and its reach by doing book and magazine publishing, system integration, network computing, in addition to its original business. In 1994, his company went public and Son gained the nickname of being the Bill Gates of Japan. And in 96, Son would make an investment that would pay off big time for his company, and that was Yahoo Japan a joint venture project with the American internet company Yahoo, which continues to be the most popular website in Japan. SoftBank would then shift its full attention to the internet. Son sent an email to its board members near the turn of the century that, quote, Revolutionary changes in the digital information industry would occur over the relative near term, and that those changes would be delivered over the internet. With that thought in mind, I had requested that the board members devote our resources solely to the pursuit of opportunities in the internet space. Despite his bold statement to his board members, Son would soon see his wealth vanish before his eyes. When the dot-com bubble finally popped, SoftBank shares would fall almost 93% from its all-time highs and Son lost $70 billion of his net worth. However, Son did not give up investing in the future. In 1995, he met Jack Ma, the founder of the company known as Alibaba. Convinced by Ma's charisma, Son invested $20 million into Alibaba, an investment that would grow to over $75 billion in 2014. And in 2006, SoftBank acquired Vodafone, a telecommunications company, and rebranded it into SoftBank Mobile Corp exposing SoftBank to the $78 billion mobile market in Japan. And in 2008, this new subsidiary formed a partnership with Apple and brought the iPhone to Japan the same year as the only official carrier in the country. Then in 2017, SoftBank announced its $100 billion vision fund the largest tech fund in history, which is almost double the size of investments made by all U.S. firms in 2018. Some of the high-profile backers include Apple, Qualcomm, Foxcom, the Sovereign Wealth Fund of Saudi Arabia, and Sharp. According to SoftBank, the fund will target meaningful long-term investments in companies and foundational platform businesses that seek to enable the next age of innovation namely technology sectors like IoT, artificial intelligence, robotics, cloud technologies, and more with a minimum of $100 million per investment. To date, 
The Vision Fund has invested in over 80 different companies, most notably ARM Holdings, a holding company that designs microprocessors, NVIDIA, a well-known company for their GPUs, Flipkart, the Indian rival of Amazon, among many others. And there is something that a lot of these companies have in common. What is it? Let's hear it from Mr. Son himself. AI. 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 A lot of these companies that are in the Vision Fund deal with artificial intelligence. ARM Holdings designs CPUs used for AI, NVIDIA manufactures GPUs used for deep learning, Flipkart has been talking about using AI for everything from search and discovery to fraud prevention. Then in July of 2019, SoftBank announced a second vision fund, this time totaling $108 billion and with a longer list of partners, including Microsoft, Apple, Foxconn, Mizo Bank, and more. But with the first vision fund's unprofitable investments in companies like WeWork and Uber, Sun reportedly plans to slow down the pace of investment compared to the first vision fund, which invested over $80 billion in less than three years. Sun is betting bigger than anyone on AI being a dominant factor of business success in the future. But will he be able to meet expectations of the largest investment fund in history? Or will he continue to disappoint with investments like WeWork? Leave your predictions in the comments section below.